Hi everybody, my name is Nava and I'm a physiotherapist. Today I have a quick little workout routine for you guys just to work on upper body posture. So I know right now with everybody working from home and at least at my clinic, I've had lots of clients coming in with neck pain, shoulder pain. So give this routine a try and hopefully it will kind of prevent any injuries down the road, okay? So the first exercise we'll be starting with is called um, a modified archer row. So you can grab any type of band and we'll just get started, okay? So first, just set yourself up, split leg like this, and you can grab onto the band over here with both arms, and you want to do a row and rotate your body towards the left. And just go nice and slowly with this one. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. So over here, I feel my left mid back working and I want to follow my neck and look behind me towards my elbow. We'll do this about four more times and try and get as much rotation as you can through your upper and mid back. Good, and similar thing, we're just gonna switch sides right now. So I'm just gonna face this way, same concept. And right now I want you to feel your right mid-back working. Try and rotate as much as you can towards the right side. Good. I feel my right shoulder burning right now, keep on going. We'll do about three more over here. Good. Next exercise is the bent over row to excellent rotation. So this one will focus a lot on kind of your mid back and your shoulder muscles, okay? So starting off over here, grab onto the band. You can lean forward a little bit and just squeeze your shoulder blades together and then turn your palm outward. Bring it back down slowly, and then move your shoulder blades apart. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring your hands backward, bring them back down, and slowly pull it apart. Good, so squeeze, I feel my mid back working. Now I really feel my shoulders burning, bringing them down and back. Let's do about three more of these. Feel the burn in the shoulders. Nice, okay. We'll take a quick little break and then we're gonna do the first two exercises all over again before moving on to the next ones, okay? So starting off again with the archer rows. Grab onto your bands and let's go again. So feel the mid back and the shoulders burning. I'm gonna switch my legs here. Good. So squeeze your shoulder blade together and rotate as much as you can towards the left with your upper back. When you're always sitting down at those desks, we don't get enough rotation into our routine. So this is a great exercise to incorporate. Good. And now we're just gonna switch sides. So again, grab onto the right side and we'll go over here. So bring that right elbow back as far as you can. My left hand is not moving at all. I can feel my shoulders burning. Keep it up. Good, and one more. Whew, okay, nice. Now let's just do the bent over rows to the rotations one more time. So I'll kind of turn around so you can see a different angle as well. So for this one, again, 
trying to keep the back straight. The lower I go, the more challenging it will be. If this is too hard for you, you can even try to do it without a band and you will still feel a good burn in your shoulders. Make sure your neck is straight, keeping your chin tucked in. There we go. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Give me about three more. Good, and one last one. Whew, perfect, nice. Okay, so now that we got our first set done, let's move on to the second set of exercises. So, no longer need the bands, we can toss those aside. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is called thread the needle. So one of my favorite exercises I like to do, you wanna start off onto your knees and hands, going into a four point position. You can sit back a little bit and this will help target more of your mid and upper back rather than your low back. So as I'm doing this, I want to rotate as much as I can towards the right and then try to reach and open up towards the left side. So slowly going back, rotating towards the right and then reach, push your right arm into the floor and try and point your left elbow as high up to the sky as you can. And as you're up here, try and squeeze that shoulder blade together as well. This one I can definitely work on. I'm a little bit stiff in my upper back. Good, and we'll do one more on this side. Perfect, and now we're just gonna switch sides, okay? So, same thing over here. Reach as much as you can this way. And then rotate all the way up over here. So coming all the way down. And try and point your right elbow to the sky. Do about a few more of these. Keep it up, guys. It's looking good. Make sure you're still breathing as you're doing this. Okay, nice. Next one we're going to do is also going to focus a little bit on the rotation for your upper body. So it's just a little modification to the bridge. I want you to go up into the bridge position, thinking about keeping your core and your glutes engaged. Once you're up here, try to just reach and rotate towards one side, bring it back, and then go the other way. So I'm reaching, I'm trying to reach as high as I can, and then come back. So over here, go as high up, try and rotate to, through your mid back, and grow as tall as you possibly can. As I'm reaching my left arm, I should actually feel my left bum cheek working a little bit harder to push myself back up. Now over here, I feel my right butt cheek working a little bit harder to push myself back up. Good. One more on each side. Okay, perfect. Let's do both of those one more time. So same thing, thread the needle, okay. We'll start off with our left arm again. So sit back, rotate towards the right, and then push your right arm into the ground and grow tall as you rotate as much as you can. So you're going down over here and then reach through and exhale. So breathe in on the way down and breathe out as you're expanding and opening up. We'll do one more on this side. Perfect, and then we're just gonna switch over. So try and rotate as much towards the left, and then open up towards your right side. 
I'm feeling a big stretch into my mid back. One more on this side. Okay. My ponytail is all over the place. <laughs> now we're gonna go back and do the bridge one more time. So over here, going up, engaging the glutes, neck straight and reaching over. So you might roll over your right shoulder a little bit. Come back, reaching over. You might roll over your left shoulder a little bit. And the entire time, keeping your glutes engaged. And make sure you're breathing out as you're reaching through. Okay. <sighs> Last two exercises we're going to do right now, okay? So for this one, we're going to be laying on our belly and just moving our arms into two different positions, okay? so. What I want you guys to do here is kind of lay flat onto the ground. Keep your chin tucked in at all times, reaching your arm forward. And then I want you to lift up. So squeezing your bum and then bringing your arms down, squeezing your shoulder blades together, reaching back up again, and then relax. And just repeating that a few times. So over here, feeling my mid back burning Reaching my arms up again and down. Good. So this is essentially a modified Superman. Your body is going to love you for this one. Even if you normally sit at the desk for 12 hours a day. Good. Let's do about two more over here. Keep going, guys. Squeezing the shoulders together. Nice, okay. Next exercise, we're gonna grab our band again. And this is just a modified sword, okay? So we can kind of loop it around like this, so it's a diagonal. Then you can kneel on your band and you can grab onto it. Make sure there's enough tension over here and turn your thumb backwards. So you're almost doing like a little Y, but with the band. Okay, so as you're doing this, thinking about just kneeling up tall, engaging the back of your shoulders. Whew, wasn't expected to get a little bit sweaty here. <laughs> and then try to just keep your neck and shoulders as relaxed as possible. Good, and my thumb is pointing backwards. My elbows are staying straight. Good, let's do about two more. Awesome, okay. So let's get into this one one more time. I know the Superman is hard, but just two more exercises, okay? So get back onto the floor, lay on your belly, reach your arms straight up, lift up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Then slowly bring them back up and relax your body. Lifting your arms up again, try to engage your mid back, not too much of your neck. Good, reach and down. I can feel the entire back side of my body burning right now as I'm doing this. Good, just one more. Beautiful. Okay, and one last exercise. So finishing off with the sword again. Good. So looping it back. And let's just do about 10 of these. 
Good, last exercise, nice and strong, guys. Keep it up. That desk posture has got nothing against you. Good. Five more, you got this. So feel the shoulders burning as you're doing it. Opening up your body, keeping your back and neck straight. And all done, perfect. So thank you guys for joining me for this at home mid-break posture workout. Again, wasn't expecting to get that sweaty, but give this workout a try if you want to help improve your upper body strength and help minimize kind of any injuries down the road and just take care of your neck, shoulders, and everything else. Thank you for joining me guys today. Um.